<laughs> Hello, and welcome to an episode of Weird and Unusual Things. Today I'm going to be starting off with weird music. I was originally going to make this an episode listing a bunch of weird music genres I have came across, playing some musical samples and then moving on to a different genre. But then I started to find more weird genres and I never heard of them. And I started listening to them and now it seems like I need to dedicate some more videos to weird music genres and weird bands. And I would like to introduce, introduce two new genres today. Well, not new genres, two genres that I find interesting. The first is math rock. Um, it's not that weird. It's uh, something that I discovered on Songza, which it's something that I, I listen to when I want to discover new bands, new genres. And this is, it's a, this is from the Wikipedia page. It's a guitar-based style of rock characterized by complex typical rhythmic structures, including irregular stopping and starting. Counterpoint, odd time signatures, angular melodies, and extended, often dissonance chords. If you know what all that music jargon means, it's it's pretty it's interesting. It's complex, and I would like to go over more math rock in the future. But this video isn't about the math rock. While studying for math, I was listening to math rock on the math rock playlist on Songza. And suddenly, my ears were assaulted by this. So, I'll let you listen to that. I don't know if you want to. This was the Flying Loot and Batches. My first reaction was, what is this stuff? So, I skipped the song. And then, they were, they were really not like anything else on the Math Rock playlist, which is actually quite minimalistic at times. This was just... A storm of shit. Which is actually the name of one of their songs. I made a pun. <laughs> it's a really impressive storm of shit. But nevertheless, it wasn't really something that I'd like to listen to. And, uh, Well, I love anything with a crazy saxophone playing in, inside. Which you will probably hear in this song coming up. And, uh, I don't think this is even their craziest song. So, after skipping them on the songs of playlist a couple of times, I started to get interested. I could not conceive it possible that these guys could sell an album. So, I thank songs for putting this on the math rock playlist, or else I would have never heard of the Flying Luton Batchers. But, I'd like to criticize them because this genre isn't really math rock. This is noise rock, and kind of grows on me. So while studying for bio, I started listening to the Flying Luton Batchers album, trying to listen to all of their albums. But so far, I've only had the appropriately named, have listened to the appropriately named Destroy All Music. So, what exactly is noise rock? Once again, from Wikipedia. Noise rock makes use of the traditional instrumentation and iconography of rock, but it incorporates atonality, especially dissonance, 
and frequently discards usual songwriting conventions. I don't know about that. Yeah, sounds about right. So there's this awesome site I discovered called weirdestbandintheworld.com. The Flying Looping Batchers have made the 10th spot on that list. Um, it might have changed on their top 100 list because it's always changing around. So yeah, they're pretty crazy and people still, they think they're crazy. I just want to share some facts about the Flying Looping Batchers I found there on that site. So, the band is a uh, very dynamic music lineup, musician lineup. So, but there's only like one guy who doesn't change. This guy is Walter Weasel, and he appears to be the genius behind the Flying Luton Batchers. I'd love to listen to some of his pre and post Luton Batchers stuff when I got the time. Maybe I'll share it with you. Or maybe you can listen to it yourself if you feel like it. Uh, another thing I love about the Luton Batchers is that their albums and their songs actually have narrative. Apparently, they document a robot apocalypse. All of the songs are instrumental, however, so the story isn't crystal clear. Which reminds me of another weird band which I would like to talk about at a later date. Anyways, the whole genre of noise rock is pretty weird and I'm gonna have lots of fun exploring it. I already found a subgenre that looks, looks promising called Japanese. That's right, Japanese noise rock. And whatever the Japanese touch, they turn to weird. I only listened to one song in the whole genre of Japanese and one album of Luna Bashers, but I will definitely be seeking more. So, yeah, click on the annotation to the left for a video of the Luna Bashers live, which is something that would have been awesome to see, or click on the annotation to the right to listen to that Japanese song I heard. The link for the music played in this episode as well as all the websites mentioned in this video have been listed in the description. I would really recommend checking out the Weirdest Band in the World website. But we weren't, there are some crazy bands out there on their top 10, top 100, I mean. Long days and pleasant nights to you. I'm disappointed, I thought this was a song with the crazy saxophone going I'm a saxophone player, by the way. Anyways, see you later.